The memory of this story that I'm, I'm going back to is one room where they make you take all your clothes off, right? Like they used to tell stories to scare the children from doing some really dumb decisions that I made and ended up in really bad places. Let's get into this video. El ex sí, una historia en el camino. La vida le dio duras lecciones desde niño. Se fue creciendo entre las drogas y las calles. Chicago Gangster, muchas malas amistades. Solo quería ser el dueño de su imperio. Y le costaron muchos viajes hacia México. La vida chula, compa. Entre cantinas y las viejas con tequila, mucha droga, compa. JC tenía un futuro ya seguro. Con 17 se tornaría muy oscuro. Iba de vuelta con rumbo para USA. Iba cargado, pero lo paró un retén. Y así comienza la otra parte de su vida. Encarcelado por una mala movida. Hey, what's up, guys? I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, mi pandilla, you already know. Suvance a la suburban. Story time with JC today. What's up, guys? You know, like I was saying in the intro, back in the day, stories were told to children so they wouldn't get into trouble. That's what I, I feel like I'm doing. I'm telling you my story so that way you don't make the dumbass decisions that I made and landed me in some like nasty ass fucking places. Yeah. Well, let's take a, a ride down memory lane. Cook County Jail, man. Who's been there? Who hasn't? It is a very, very dangerous place. Dangerous Cook County prison to be at. <laughs> County Jail to be at. It is a dangerous place full of gangs, murderers, I mean, rapists, I mean, you name it. It, it is a very, very it's a bad place. It's a very bad place to go. And you, the process back in the day, you know, when I was going to, I have a K number. So back in the day when I was going to Cook County, they moved you from bullpen to bullpen. And they must have been about a hundred, hundred dudes on, on, you know, standing up on the floor, every bullpen and they would move you. And as they were checking everybody in, you know, back then, the famous dick doctor, you know, the guy that stuck the fucking um, Q-tips up your dick to see if you have any STDs, was like the worst one out of all the, all the visits. I guess now, Cook County has, you know, made different rooms and changed things up. But, one thing I will tell you guys about Cook County is that they move the inmates all through the bottom and the floor and the ground, like through the through the basement. They move the inmates in and out of court from the county jail to there. Like it's it's crazy the, the tunnel system that they have. Chicago's always like had tunnels like that. Wait. Chicago? Tunnels? El Chapo. Tunnels. Anyways, it's a place where you don't want to be. It's a really, really bad place. <sighs> there is a lot of dudes dressed in black that wear these black gloves that are just waiting to fuck you up because the CEOs are like a gang in there and they all ride together so they're all gonna fuck you up together. So you gotta play your cards really 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 smart with them 
seen a lot of dummies crash. And I just lean back and watch. Baloney every day for lunch. Baloney every day for lunch. Baloney every day for lunch. Baloney every day. No sun, no weight. Oh, and by the way, you're in there. I don't know if I forgot to mention, but a bunch of crazy ass motherfuckers that um, I think enjoy trying to take people's lives and they tr enjoy trying to kill people and they enjoy beating up people and they enjoy uh, hitting people. It is a very, very, very nasty place to be at and I do not wish it upon nobody, not even my worst enemy. And, you know, I spent a lot of time in that place, in and out of that place, and it was a big, big factor in my older trauma that I, you know, I, I pretty much went through in that stage in my life when I was in my teens of all the shit that I seen there. Um, a lot of my boys, you know, getting 63, 70 years, uh, just shit like that, and the, the biggest reason why we talk about these fucking stories are to fucking, you know, get motherfuckers from not, not making that dumbass decision and going there or hanging around with the wrong people and going there or doing just something fucking stupid. The memory of this story that I'm, I'm going back to is, so when you're in county, right, and they're moving you from bullpen to bullpen, remember, this is in my time. They're moving you from bullpen to bullpen. You got, you've seen the doctor, you've seen this guy, you've seen this guy, right? At the end, there's one room, one room where they make you take all your clothes off, right? Everything, you're butt naked, no underwear, no socks, nothing. You put everything on the floor. Then you turn around, you put your hands against the wall, put your forehead against the, uh, the wall, and they come in with these big ass fucking Rottweilers and fucking dogs smelling. It is the longest 10 minutes of your life when you're standing there naked with your dick hanging out, your balls hanging out, and there's very aggressive dogs walking around smelling shit. Have I seen them bite somebody? Yes, I have. Some dude that was trying to uh, uh, sneak some shit in in his ass got bit. Yep, but that moment right there, priceless, priceless. Being naked against the wall with my forehead and a vicious dog coming in, smelling my ass, smelling all my shit, not knowing if he's just gonna bite me because my ass fucking smells so bad, but. Key moments of me remembering today where I don't want to go again or ever be in that situation because it is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live, live it out here not gang banging not using drugs not doing none of that shit all that bad shit man just right here hey i guarantee you you won't go back i'll catch you guys on the rebound